Hello and welcome to the first of many AutoIt tutorials. My name is Herb, also known as Mr. AutoIt. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of installing AutoIt on your computer so you can start using AutoIt to build programs and scripts. I apologize in advance if this tutorial seems very basic. However, to make sure you completely understand what is going on, I will assume you have no previous experience with AutoIt. Never fear though, as these lessons and tutorials advance, so will their content. Before long, you will be building some very interesting and useful scripts in AutoIt. I'd like to add one final note before we get started. If you are serious about learning how to program in AutoIt, and you are not already viewing this video on MrAutoIt.com, then I highly recommend you head over to MrAutoIt.com and sign up for a free account. Not only can you view all of our tutorials, but we also provide step-by-step -step lesson plans with feedback from real community members that want to help you to learn. It's all free and we would love to have you as a member. So let's get started. Before we can do anything with AutoIt, we need to start by downloading it and installing it on our computer. To do that, we need to go to autoitscript.com. From the AutoIt Scripts homepage, you want to select AutoIt and then Downloads. This page gets updated pretty regularly, so it might look a little different than it does now on this video when you are following this tutorial. Also, it's very likely that the AutoIt version will have changed. However, all the steps should be the same. Once you are on the download page, you want to scroll down to the section on the page that says AutoIt Full Installation. As you can see, this download includes the program files, documentation, and example files. You might also notice that it comes with an editor. While the editor is nice, it does not have all the extra features the full version has. So in the next tutorial, we will cover downloading the full version of the site editor. For now though, let's go ahead and download AutoIt by clicking on the Download AutoIt button. Once it is downloaded, Go ahead and run the installer. The first screen on the installer will look similar to this and the actual install is pretty straightforward, but I will walk you through the steps and show you the options I like to select when installing AutoIt. As you can see from this screen, it is highly recommended that you close any unnecessary applications when you are installing AutoIt. This is always a good idea when installing new software, so before clicking the Next button, make sure you have closed any programs that you don't need open. Next, you will want to read through the license agreement and click on I Agree. When configuring the operating system's settings, it is usually best to use the default settings. On this options page, the installer is asking you what you want to happen when you double click on a .au3 file. A .au3 file is the standard file extension for AutoIt script files. The default setting in the installer is to have the script run when it is double clicked. This is a personal preference, but I like for a script file to be opened in the editor when I double click on it. So, I will select the edit the script option, but feel free to use whatever option you think you will find most useful. Under choose the components to install, it is usually best to go with the default settings. So on this page, you can just click Next. 
unless you have a good reason for installing AutoIt somewhere other than in the default directory, you can just click Install when you get to this step. Once you click Install, the installer will actually start installing AutoIt and all of its components. This process usually takes a few minutes, so I will pause the video and come back when it's done installing. Now that the installer is done installing AutoIt, it gives us the option to see new release notes. Since this is your first time using AutoIt, you probably don't need to see any release notes. So you can uncheck that option and click Finish. We have now installed AutoIt, but before you start using it, remember it's a good idea to install the full version of the site editor for AutoIt. We will cover how to do that in the next video tutorial. Last but not least, if you have not already done so, I invite you to come over to MrAutoIt.com and sign up for a free account. We have a great group of people over there that would love to help you learn AutoIt. Plus, we have a bunch of free tools to help accompany all of our tutorials, including skill tests, quizzes, and articles on how to get the most out of AutoIt.